What is sudden cardiac arrest, or SCA? Is it the same as a heart attack? Who is at risk for SCA? And what can you do to save someone's life if they suffer sudden cardiac arrest? As SCA Awareness Month comes to an end, we will be answering all these questions in the following video. My name is Mahek Dande, and I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist. In other words, I'm a cardiologist specialized in treating heart rhythm disorders, using medications, procedures, and above all, disease awareness. So let's get started. Normal heartbeat is controlled by the electrical system of the heart. This system is made of several parts that tell the muscle of the heart when to squeeze. The SA node starts the heartbeat, causing the upper chambers of the heart, called atria, to squeeze. The signal then travels down the AV node, the bundle of His, bundle branches, and Purkinje fibers, which are all just names of the parts that make up the electrical circuitry of the heart. This causes the ventricles, the lower chambers of the heart, to squeeze. This flow of electrical signals produces a normal heartbeat. Sudden cardiac arrest, or SCA, is a life-threatening heart rhythm caused by a problem with the heart's electrical system. SCA occurs when the heart suddenly stops beating due to abnormally rapid electrical signals within the heart's chambers. The heart muscle becomes unable to coordinate with the fast electrical signals and it begins to quiver uncontrollably instead of beating normally. As a result, the heart is no longer able to effectively pump blood and oxygen to vital organs like the brain. When SCA occurs, the heart needs immediate treatment from an electrical shock or defibrillation to restart the electrical system. If SCA is not treated immediately, it leads to sudden cardiac death within minutes. On the other hand, a heart attack happens when blood flow to an area of heart muscle suddenly becomes blocked and an area of heart muscle is damaged. The amount of damage depends on the size of heart muscle supplied by the artery that has been blocked by the heart attack, and the amount of time that passes before treatment, that is, opening up or clearing of the artery blockage. Without treatment, a heart attack can cause serious health problems or death. Now that you know the difference between sudden cardiac arrest and heart attack, let's explore who is at risk for sudden cardiac arrest. SCA can happen to people of all ages and with a number of health conditions. In particular, those with a history of previous heart attack or heart artery blockages, low ejection fraction or weak heart muscle, a family history of sudden death, and congenital heart defects are at high risk of SCA. When SCA does occur, every second matters. Immediate initiation of chest compressions and shock delivery by an AED could be the difference between life and death for a passerby or for a loved one. If you witness sudden cardiac arrest, that is, someone collapsing to the ground, being unresponsive and not having a pulse, be sure to immediately shout for help, call 911 and start chest compressions. Push hard, push fast, at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute and use an AED as soon as possible to deliver a shock as advised by the device. Remember, you can triple the chance of someone surviving a sudden cardiac arrest by starting CPR immediately. We hope you found this video informative and that you feel empowered to save someone's life if faced with a situation where you witness a sudden cardiac arrest. For more videos about heart rhythm disorders, be sure to visit Heart Rhythm TV on YouTube and upbeat.org, linked below. Thanks for watching.